It is strange, isn't it, this news about the king. Now, supposedly, the king was due to have tea with Ursula von der Leyen today. There was some discussion that the deal would be called the Windsor Agreement. Some of that's now being denied, and they're saying, well, you know, the king meets leaders, it's not connected. But it does seem very strange. And, of course, as Jacob Rees-Mogg has said, and indeed others have said too, if the king had met with the European Commission president at this very delicate time when it seems there's about to be an agreement, that does blur the lines, doesn't it, between the king's role, which is supposed to be absolutely oh, yes. not involved in politics, and what is politically a very delicate uh, and, and decision. And made particularly delicate because of the, the, the very nature of... I mean, the, the Conservatives uh, are the Conservative and Unionist Party, and, of course, the DUP, uh, as was said earlier on in the news bulletins. Um, and, and Charles will be crowned King of the United Kingdom, which includes Northern Ireland. Yes. So, I mean, it, it, in a sense, it couldn't be more delicate. It, it, it couldn't be, and, it, and it's it not... It certainly puts murmuring pleasure about... Uh, <laughs> Independence for Scotland in its place. Yes, I mean, all the years that we've been worrying about potential independence of Scotland and really, isn't there a very real threat now that down the line we will end up with a united Ireland? Yes. Partly because of the demographic change that's taking place in Northern Ireland. Mm. Sinn Féin now has a majority or would have in the Northern Irish yeah. Assembly if it was sitting, which of course it still isn't. And, um, I mean, if it was tomorrow, it would be literally by the ballot box and not by the bullet that, that, that the 32 counties could, at a stroke, come together again. Yes, yes. So, you know, there is a real concern now that that might be, and, and maybe that may be ultimately the right path. But certainly many unionists, of course, are deeply unhappy because they feel that the protocol, while protecting the Good Friday Agreement in not putting a hard border on the island of Ireland has threatened peace in Northern Ireland by effectively putting a border down the Irish Sea. Now, Rishi Sunak's deal, as far as we understand, is going to get rid of checks going from Britain to Northern Ireland, which is a big step forward, and is going to minimise the role of the European Court of Justice, but not completely get rid of it. And although Rishi Sunak is thinks that that has met the DUP's seven tests. It's very unclear that the DUP mm. is in agreement. Yeah. Is the mood music changing for him a bit? I mean, if there is tangible progress on the Northern Ireland Protocol and the post-Brexit arrangements, and he can persuade uh, the DUP and his own European uh, research group of... of, of uh, <laughs> Uh, of antagonists, as it were, on the on the back benches, who've now got to come to work uh, on on Monday and, and and give ear to all of it. And I was struck by something the other day when the public uh, borrowing requirement figures were published that showed that uh, that his chancellor and he is first lord of the treasurer uh, at these levels of taxation may have more room to move come the budget on tax rates. And he's under enormous pressure, particularly on corporation tax. Is the mood music changing a little for Rishi Sunak? There doesn't seem to be any evidence that they're going to budge on corporation tax or tax cuts in general at the moment, despite the fact that there's huge pressure being piled mm. upon them. Priti Patel today saying, you know, <laughs> raising corporation tax is not the right measure, and clearly many in the party are very unhappy about that. If Rishi Sunak can get this deal through, the Brexit sorted effectively, I mean, we've heard this before, haven't we, then that would be a huge win for him. Mm. But it's very perilous, isn't it? Because if the Democratic Unionist Party do not play ball, that's going to kick off all sorts of trouble with the European Research Group. And Boris Johnson is intervening quite loudly now to say, let's keep our... Brexit protocol bill that's going through the House of Lords. That's the deal we should keep. But, of course, that is the deal to basically put in the bin mm. the protocol that Boris Johnson agreed in the first place. And that would bring with it all sorts of other problems, even assuming it got through the Lords, even assuming that it didn't have all sorts of legal challenges. Oh, it's all so there's nothing. There's nothing simple about no, anything.